30 minute workouts, 20 minute recipes, 10 minute mindfulness. Ready to become? Get feel on the App Store or Google Play. Hi everyone, it's Joanna here. Today's workout is all about the arms and abs. We want to work on increasing the strength in your arms as well as your core. There will also be some explosive movements to get your heart rate up. So, let's have some fun. Let's start with a quick warm-up, okay? So let's start with shoulder rolls. Just big and nice shoulder rolls back, okay? Point your elbows forward and back. And now forward. So this will really help you to increase the mobility of your joints. Big shoulder rolls forward. And now what I want to do is extend your arms to the side and continue. Small arm circles, all right? Warming up the arms, your triceps, your biceps, as well as your shoulders. Now back, small circles. Remember to brace your core throughout the workout, okay? So I don't want your body to be moving. It's just your arms moving. Good. And now, just step right at the edge of your mat. Let's get into inchworm to plank. So keep your legs straight, slowly inch forward into a plank. Brace your core and slowly inch back and come back up okay so you should feel the stretch on your hamstrings by keeping your legs straight if this is too much for you you can bend your knees slightly as you inch back good so stretching out the hamstrings and slowly move back one more down and as you get into a plank i want you to rotate twist to the left Back down, twist to the right. So brace your core, find your balance, left and right. Okay, good. Few more, right, good. One more, left, down, right, and back into a plank, groiners. So take your left leg forward and drive it back into a plank. Right feet forward, drive it back, and drop your hips down, okay? I want you to really feel the stretch in your hip flexor, back, and down. Good. So try to get your knees to touch the floor. Back again, right feet forward, into a plank. One last one, back, right, back, and slowly come back up into a standing position good so there will be a total of three circuits and we want to repeat each circuit twice okay the first circuit is going to be solely your body weight there will be lots of planks okay so the focus is to work on the strength of your arms as well as your core so let's get down onto your mat all four exercises will be on your mat let's get into a high plank position the first workout is going to be a push-up and a fall. So as you bend your knee and drive your butt back, feel the crunch on your lower abs, all right? Push up, chest down, and crunch. Feel the work on your lower abs as well as your chest and shoulders. If this is too much for you, what you can do is drop onto your knees, push up, and fall. Good. Choose your option and fall. I want you to really feel the stretch, feel the crunch on your abs, and then get into a plank and a push up. Good. Strong arms. One last one. And good. Drop your knees. Okay. Next is going to be a dwarfing push up. For dwarfing push ups, the focus is really on your front delts and your triceps. One of my favorite, okay? So get into a plank position. What I'm going to do is hike your butt up, push it back, and drive your body forward, and hike your butt up, okay? So really, drive your body as far forward as you can. Chin over your fingers. Good, drive it forward. Feel the stretch and the work on your triceps, 
and your front shoulders. Drive it back, push it back, and remember to breathe. Drive it forward, good. Back, push it up, so we can really work on the strength of our arms to get it toned just by using our own body weight. Good, and now come down. Okay, next is going to be slightly more challenging. Pike presses, okay? So what I want to do is again, get into a high plank position, inch your toes forward, get into a mountain, and just give me three pike presses. So reach your head to the floor, and then get into a plank. This is your rest position, okay? So, head to the floor, feel the work on your shoulders, and plank, good. One short rest, and back again. Rest it out, high plank, good. Strong arms, let's go. Press, head down, push your butt up, and plank. Keep going, breathe and high plank and just drop your knees Woo. shake it out a little bit if you need to okay all right the final workout for this circuit small subtle movements but you will really feel it on your core so get into a tabletop position lift your knees off the floor and i want you to just tap your knees with the opposite hand okay so the key here is to Brace your core, keep your back flat. So do not pike it up or do not let it swing side to side. This is wrong. Brace your core, tighten your belly, really suck that belly in and just tap left and right. Really small movement. Good. And remember to push into the ground. Tap and just gaze onto the floor. Good. Brace your core, suck it in. I know it's shaking, but it's good. Keep going, few more, and just drop onto your knees. Okay, let's repeat the entire circuit once more, okay? So the first workout is going to be a push-up and a fall. Choose your option, okay? Either on your knees or on your toes. So one push-up, fall, push-up, and work on the abs, good, crunch, push-up, Crunch it in, really drive your butt back and down. Nice. Try to go as slow as you can. Drive it back, push it, and come into a high plank and into a nice firm push up. Keep going. Give me two more. Let's go. Drive it back. One more. And good. Okay. All right. Next, dwarfing push up. Okay. So get into a low plank. Remember to keep your elbows firmly onto the ground. Get into a plank position. Pike your butt up. Push into your triceps, your front delt. Drive your body forward. And push. Good. Forward. And now, really pike your butt up. Feel the stretch and the work on your triceps and your front delt. Good. Keep going. I want to see a nice and high mountain. And just breathe. Keep breathing. Good. Breathe in and breathe out. Pike it up. Whew, my arms are burning and just drop. Okay, pike presses, okay? I'm nice, so there will be three pike presses and into a plank. All right, good. So let's get into a high plank. Bring your toes slightly forward, okay? Drive your head down. One, two, three. Shift your body weight forward, take a short rest. Again, drive it back. One, two, three, and drive it forward. Good. Pike it up. One, two, three. If this is too much for you, 
you can just rest and join in, okay? In a bit. Good. One, two, three. If you need to get into a cobra, stretch it out, get into a high plank, and let's continue. Good. One, two, three. Plank and drop. Okay. Very, very good. Oh my god, one final one, and you will get a slightly longer break. All right, now let's get onto all fours. All right, spread your fingers apart for a firm foundation. Lift your knees off, and now let's tap. Okay, small movement, brace your core, gaze onto the floor, keep a neutral spine, neutral neck, and tap. Very good, okay? Try not to shift your body weight too much to the left or right. Raise your core, suck your belly in, feel that squeeze, strong arms, strong core, few more. We're almost there, team. Let's do this. Less than 10 seconds. Tap, tap, one last one. Tap, tap, and now just Check it out. Okay, very, very well done. That is the end of the first circuit. Take a short break and let's continue with the second round. For the second circuit, what you'll need is a very light pair of dumbbells. I would say between one to two kilos each. If you don't have any dumbbells at home, then just grab any water bottle, okay? It's good enough. So for the second circuit, we will be working a lot more on the arms, okay? The first workout is going to be a W extension. So what I'm going to do is place both weights in your arms with your palms facing out, okay? I want you to stand tall and proud Raise your arms up. What I want to do is extend it out and bring it in. Extend it out and bring it in, okay? It looks like a simple movement, but with the weights in your arms, trust me, this is not easy. This is actually one of my favorite workouts. It's really effective on your biceps as well as your shoulders, okay? So slow extension, hold it, bring it back, out and bring it back. Okay, now give me double. One, two, bring it back in. Double, hold it, good. Double, and drive it back in. Good, keep going, Woo. Feel the burn, that's what we want. Do not stop right now. I want you to get used to that feeling, okay? Good, keep going. Extend it out, in, one more, out, and in. Okay, good job. Next workout, round the world. All right, I wish we could travel around the world right now. <laughs> okay, jokes aside. Dumbbells down, palms facing forward. What I want to do is keep your arms straight, drive the dumbbell up, okay? And slowly come back down. So drive it up and back down. Again, this workout is really good for your triceps as well as your shoulders. Good. So the goal is to keep your arms as straight as possible and use the strength from your arms to drive the dumbbells back up. Good. Again, brace your core, okay? With all the exercises, you have to brace your core. So do not use momentum. This is wrong. Brace your core, up, back down, and up, and back down. One more, up, and down. Good. Okay, few shoulder rotations, okay? I know it's burning, but let's keep it that way, okay? Feel the intensity. Next, it's going to be an L rotation to a shoulder press, okay? So start with your palms facing forward, drive the dumbbell down, L, and press it up, okay? So it's an L rotation and a straight dumbbell press up. Good. Do not drop your elbows, okay? <laughs> we want to work on your arms, we want to work on your triceps, your biceps, so keep it high, do not drop it. This is wrong. Up. L, press it up, good job, nice, control the weights as you come down, don't just let it drop, control it, down and press it up, good job, L and 
up. Very good. Keep going. Straight arms. Only one to two kilos, but you can really feel the burn. Okay, my arms are tired. Okay, final workout for this circuit, okay? Weighted punches. Just like kickboxing, okay? Step your left leg forward, your right leg back, both dumbbells up, punch to the front, and keep your arms straight, okay? This is not a punch, okay? If you're doing this, it's wrong. Straight, extend your arms out, twist your body, work on your core at the same time, extend. It's not a quick punch, it's a slow punch because I want you to really feel the weights in your arms, extend it out straight, and drive it back in a straight line. Do not drop your arms down, okay? Straight line, drive it back, twist your torso, work on your core, good, and back in. Simple, really, really simple movements, but really effective. Sometimes, just by lifting a little bit of extra weight, it's going to help you progress in your workout. Good job, all right. Now, let's repeat the entire circuit once more. W extension. Stand tall, stand proud, palms facing in, in a W um, shape, and let's go. Out and in, okay? Woo! This is killing. This is killing me, man. My biceps are burning. My shoulders are burning. Extend it out. Pull it in. Good. Extend out and in, okay? Good. So do not go forward. It's to the side and in. Good job. Out and in. Out and in. Now let's go double. One, two, in. One, two, in. Good. There you go. Double. 10 more seconds. I can feel the burn. One, two, good. Double. Stay with me. Keep your arms high. Last one more. Give me one more. And drop it down. Okay. Hard work, okay? Now, let's go round the world. Dumbbells with the palms facing forward. Okay. Brace your core. Stand shoulder width apart. Now, let's go. Bring the dumbbells up over your head. Control it back down. Really feel the tension on your upper body, your arms. Control, fight against gravity. Good. Up again, fight against gravity. Don't just let it drop, okay? I want every rep to be a quality rep. Good. Up, point your elbows out. Try to keep your arms as straight as possible. Just a slight bend in your elbows, okay? Good. Let's do this. Up, control. One more up and back down. Whew. Shoulder rolls. All right. Now, L rotation to shoulder press. This is also really good to improve on your mobility. So I want you to keep your arms up all the time, okay? So now let's start. Down, up to a shoulder press. L rotation, back down, control it. Keep your elbows up. Do not drop your elbows. Try to keep your arms in line with your shoulders. Good. There you go. Very good. Brace your core. Stand tall. And press it up. Up. And press. Good job. Working on the sexy arms. Let's kill this. Let's do this. Up. Strong arms, ladies. I know. We hate to work on our arms, on our upper body. I'm the same, but it's really important, okay? Let's go strong arms and back down. All right, final workout, okay? Left leg forward, right leg back, get into a kickboxing stance. Weighted punches, okay? Remember to punch in a straight line and drive the dumbbell back in a straight line as well. Let's go. Left and right, good. Left and right, okay? So you're using um, the power from your torso as well as the power from your shoulders to drive it forward. Pull it back. Good. Pull it back. Nice. Strong punches. Look straight at one point, okay? It's not this. It's not this. It's one target right in front of you. Good. Keep going. Twist and twist. Very good. Let's go. 10 more seconds. Let's finish this circuit strong and you will get a longer break. Give me two more on each side. Let's go. One more. 
and good. All right, take a short break, keep yourself hydrated, and we have one more circuit to go. So stay with me. This is your final circuit. This is going to be a heat abs workout, okay? Lots of explosive movement to really drive your heart rate up and to also burn calories. And the focus is going to be on your abs. So we will be working a lot on the mat, all right? So the first workout is going to be in out tucks. So get into a high plank position. What I want you to do is hop in, hop out. It's going to be a small hop. That's because I want you to keep your legs straight, okay? By keeping your legs straight, you will really feel the work on your lower abs, all right? So only 30 seconds work. Keep your legs straight, hop in and hop out. Try to keep your legs straight as much as you can and feel the squeeze on your lower abs. Good, hop out, in and out, good. Push through the ground, keep going, small hops, focusing on the abs, good, all right. The next workout is going to be two plank jacks and two mountain climbers, okay? Still in a plank position, two plank jacks and two mountain climbers. Left and right is one. All right, so find your rhythm. Two plank jacks, two mountain climbers and out. Remember to keep your back flat, okay? Out and in. Back flat, last one, and good job. Okay, next, side to side knee tucks, all right? Again, in a plank position, what you need to do is hop to your left, back into the middle, to the side, and in the middle, okay? So, again, working on your abs, and also with a focus on the obliques. So, find your rhythm, hop to the side, and back in a plank and to the side. I told you, it's going to be an explosive circuit. So stay with me. This is your final circuit. Let's go. Out and in, out and in. Last one more. And okay, quickly, get back up, double knees, okay? So what I want to do is step wide, give me double knees, change, double knees. All right, so drive the knee forward, feel the crunch on your core. Take this as your active recovery as well. We have been working really hard. Drive it in, drive your knee forward and crunch. Feel the work on your obliques, twist. Good. One last one. Woo! That's one more. And now back on to the floor, okay? We are not stopping. All right, in, out, tucks. Into a high plank, small jumps, keep our legs straight, small hops, feel the work on your lower abs. Good. Tuck it in and out. Okay, if you need to, you can bend your knees slightly, but don't bend it too much. Straight legs, hop in and out. All right, oh my God, I am dying. But let's finish this together. Plank jacks and mountain climbers, okay? Strong arms, let's go. Two plank jacks, mountain climbers. Plank jacks and mountain climbers. Drive your knees in and breathe. Here's your breathing. Keep going. Stay with me, stay strong. Oh my gosh, okay. Side to side, knee tucks, okay? You can know by the way I'm breathing right now. This is not easy. 
If you need an option, what you can do is just take a step to the side or take a step to the side out and bring it in, okay? This is going to be your beginner option. If you are strong, if you are with me, then let's finish this strong, okay? Hop to the side, back into the center, side and center. Push into the ground. Let's go. Feel your abs working. Feel your obliques. And one final workout, guys. One final workout. Double knees, okay? Left and right. Let's finish this strong. Double knee crunch, okay? Drive your knee forward and high up. Twist, working on your torso. Good. Keep breathing. Point, okay? Hands high. Keep going. Last five more seconds. You're almost there. You're almost at the finish line. Last one more. And you are done. Very, very, very well done. My heart rate is going crazy right now. It's at 169 BPM, okay? Let's not rush to go anywhere. Let's take this time to breathe and really bring your heart rate back down. And let's do a little bit of stretches, okay? So again, just like our warm up, I want you to give me big arm circles. Really open up your arms. Feel the stretch on your shoulders. If your shoulders are clicking, that's absolutely fine, okay? Just go slow. Big circles and now forward. Drive it forward. Whew. What a strong and intense workout. My kind of workout, okay? I love to lift weights. I love to feel strong. And at the same time, I like to keep it intense. If you find that this workout is too difficult, you can always take it a notch down. All right, so keep, bring your right arms across and just feel the stretch on your right shoulder. All right. And breathe and now drop it. Left arm, opposite arm. Again, feel the stretch on your left shoulder. Good job. All right, now just spread your arms to the side, point your fingers down and just push back, okay? This will really stretch on your biceps and you should also feel a little bit of stretch on your back. So push it down, point your thumbs down. All right, stretch it out. Good job. Now let's stretch our triceps. So what I'm going to do is bring your hands back, okay? And just pull your elbows and feel the stretch on along your triceps right here. Okay, bring it back. And if you are flexible, you can also interlace your fingers and stretch it. And now change the other side, okay? So right hand back and just pull it. Good job. Pull it. And now just slowly drop your arms, release all the tension. We have worked a lot on our arms and our core. Just release all the tension and let's take a deep breath in together. Breathe in and out. Very, very, very well done. I'm sure your arms are on fire right now. Be sure to do this workout consistently for a strong pair of arms and also strong core. And don't forget to also check out other workout videos on my YouTube channel, combine it with my lower body workouts as well as HIIT workouts. And I will see you in my next workout session. Let me know how you felt in the comments below. All the best.